What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the hourglass shape and how we make our waist look smaller than it actually is. So which exercises can we use if we want to build that illusion up? Let's go to the gym and we'll find out. I have really good exercises coming up and I'm going to walk you through everything. Let's go. It's always, always important to warm up. And we are going to start this workout with this cross trainer. And we're going to do 5 up till 10 minutes, depends on how you feel. But I think this is the best way to go because this activates your back. When you're holding in the machine like this, you're activating your back and you get warm. We are going to warm up the back a little bit more. So we're going to use a resistant band and do... 10 up till 20 reps of this first one and then the same with this movement and the third movement 10 up till 20 reps two rounds of this one as well If you want, you can also use the resistant band as a help to stretch out your back. This is also a method that I use every time I train my back. And this is also to stretch out your back and your lats to get warm and also get the blood flow going. And also feel how your lats are stretching out when you're going up before pulling down so you can really feel the contact so to the workout we are gonna begin this with lat pull down and this exercise is really good to build a wide back this is gonna make your waist look smaller so it's a win-win situation you get a wide and strong back but it also helps you get an illusion of that your waist are smaller. So we're gonna do the normal lat pull down and then also one arm at a time as a superset. So we're gonna do first the normal one and then moving over to one arm each. Pull the bar in front of you when you do this exercise. Next up, we are gonna do vertical rows. And we're going to use a little bit smaller handle. You can have a straight one as well. I'm using one that is a little bit bent over. And this exercise is also really good to activate your lats and your back. So you can see that I am pulling down the weights with my lats. And also do this exercise concentrated, slowly, so you really feel the contact and don't swing up the weights. So slowly on the way back and slowly on the way down so we really get the contact right. This is a killer exercise for your lats. Also lock your lower back so you don't get an overstretched and overbend lower back. Next exercise is also a really good one and this is a cable lat pull down a little bit Incline pull down because we are using a bench like this and place yourself with your chest against the bench and then pull down the weights. You can also use a normal rope that is also fine. I like this handle but if you don't have that one it's also so fine to have just the rope. And then slowly and concentrated on the way down hold it against the weights and then pull down again and the fourth exercise for the back is going to be also in the cable and we are going to use a bench once again an incline bench but this time we are going to row from underneath like this and this exercise is amazing to get the stretch in the back right so when I'm going forward I really stretch out the muscles before I pull them against me and also stop like one second in the top before going back. Oh, 
Okay, so now that we have trained the back, we're gonna move over to the waist. And a couple of exercises that are really good and easy to do. So this is the first one. This is the leg raises side crunch. And this is a really good exercise, but it can be kind of hard to do in the beginning. So take help from your arm, as you can see how I am holding it down to the floor. When you have done 10 reps, I want you to hold this position as long as you can, at least 10 seconds. And this is gonna burn so, so much. Switching sides and doing exactly the same. Second exercise is a type of a plank, but we're gonna move forward like this. One leg and one, one arm at a time, and I'm like crossing over, and this is gonna activate your whole core and also the obliques. So a type of plank hand walk. And when you are at the top of the exercise, I want you to blow out the air and also squeeze the core and the obliques. The third exercise is kind of similar to the one that we just did, but we are gonna do this movement. We're gonna do a side and upper raise, like this. So we go down in a plank, blow out the air and tension in your core all the time, go out, and slide out the leg on the side and then go up in a peak. And this is a really, really good exercise to do with just the body weight because it's a heavy exercise. As you can see, I am going down, blow out the air and then go up in a peak. Leg bent all the time, go up and then out on the side. This is gonna activate your whole core and also a really good tension over the obliques. The last exercise of this workout is gonna be on a bench, lying down. And this is a type of upper crunch. So we're gonna lie down like this and then go from side to side. So tension in the core all the time, kicking up the legs like this. And you can see how my core and my obliques are working when doing this. Also have your lower back and the core a little bit bent, as you can see that I am. And this is also to activate the tension in the core. If the first one is too hard to do, this is an alternative. Just a twist instead of a leg raise. We're gonna twist the sides like this. This is also really good to activate the whole core. If the number one alternative is too hard to do, this is alternative number two. Also really good, lie down on the same way as the other exercises and then crunch up like this instead on the sides. Also important to press down your lower back to the bench so we get the tension in the core all the time and then crunch up on the sides. So what I was talking about in the beginning is that we are creating an illusion that our waist looks smaller than it actually is. And that is because we are building the back wider, like a V, and then the waist comes, and then you get the hips. So you get this hourglass shape. And it is a win-win situation because you are building your back stronger and you get the wide back as well. But we also, of course, need to use need to do exercises for the core and for the obliques as well to make, to build up a strength, but also to create a waist. Like this is a really good workout to do, to start building that shape. If you're having problems with toning down your waist, you can still, of course, work on your waist, still working on 
core exercises, obliques exercises, ab exercises, everything like that, but also build your back wider because that is going to make that, you know what I mean? Okay, so I really hope that you like this video guys and I hope that you like this workout. Please let me know if you tried it and what you thought about it. So have an amazing day till we see each other next time. Kisses and a lot of love. Bye.